This is definitely unprecedented. Uh, in the past, when security clearances from seniors have been revoked, it's been in response to mishandling of classified information or, or security issues. It's not usually because the president disagrees with their criticism. The Article 2 of the Constitution gives the president the right to be the ultimate classifier for all the U.S. government secrets and documents, and therefore having access to everything. So he certainly can. The issue is whether it's, it's wise to do so. Um, it, it goes against norms. Never before has a president sort of reached down that far to make individual classification decisions. I think it, it's a benefit to Mr. Trump politically to suggest that the criticism from these officers is uh, partisan and politically based and they might be using classified information in that regard. I don't think that's the case here because if they were they'd be under scrutiny and trouble and could have lost their clearances long before. I think that the biggest danger here is not so much to these individuals. Um, most of them are not making their money off government contracts. They're not using, they don't have regular access to classified information or are using it in that purpose. However, what it does do is set, sends a message that there's some, potentially some sort of loyalty test to maintaining your security clearance. So to the tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people who have security clearances, they might have the view that, hey, you know, I need to maintain a, a good, loyal relationship with the president to maintain my clearance. I don't think that's practically the case, but that is the, where this could eventually go.